Today, I am getting my first car in like five years after living in New York City, and it's a Tesla. But how I got the money to buy this Tesla, well, is another story. So, welcome, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy, and let's just get into it. Thank you so much to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video and helping me out with some dope stock footage to really get these people in the excitement that was the morning that, well, I sold all my Bitcoin, whether I liked it or not. Okay, so it was a few months ago. Honestly, I was not digging the performance of Coinbase, which is the exchange that I use to buy Bitcoin. You know all the stuff that people didn't like that Robinhood has been doing recently? Well, yeah, Coinbase will sometimes just not let you trade things because they can't take the traffic. So a couple years of being frustrated with that and you know, their, their UI is so pretty and accessible for new people coming on the platform and buying Bitcoin for the first time. That's why I'm a big fan of them. But hey, if it's not working properly, that's not a good sign. A lot of the crypto world, the UI and UX of it has not caught up to the actual good technology of it. And I hope, I hope that changes soon. We have that, we have a new administration and Janet Yellen was saying really silly things about Bitcoin and it was going down. It was going down. It was going down from, you know, all time highs of in the 40,000s to down to like 27,000. I was like, oh my gosh, this investment that I've made over the past four years for the first time, I think I might need to think about selling. So I set the limit. At this point, I have changed to pro Coinbase because wow, normal Coinbase, I'm just not a big fan of. I set that limit to sell all of my Bitcoin when the USD price hits $38,000. I set that and then a few weeks later, I go to bed and I wake up to that price being hit. What? Oh my God, that was so quick. And I learned to find out that Elon Musk just tweeted hashtag Bitcoin at midnight and it sent the price. <laughs> <laughs> to 38,000. My limit hit. I sold all of my bitcoins and that was that. And um, now I'm buying a, a Tesla. <laughs> okay, so I feel like it'd be fun to do this live in front of you guys. I still don't know the exact average of the USD price that I actually sold my 1.57 Bitcoin for. This is what I downloaded from the normal Coinbase. And you can see the exact days that I bought. There's not a lot of selling, but a lot of buying over here. So you have the timestamps, you have what I bought, you have uh, the quantity. So uh, my first Bitcoin purchase was 0 0.322. Bitcoin, and at that time, Bitcoin was $4,648. Oh man, good times. <laughs> As you can see here, the subtotal is $1,500. So that means I bought 0.32 Bitcoins for $1,500 on August the 30th of 2017. And that was my first, my first purchase. So this is actually my first time looking at this because this is something that I just sent to my tax accountant. Um, yes, even with crypto and Bitcoin, and I don't like, like crypto is one thing, Bitcoin is another. Um, I try not to be like a Bitcoin maximalist. Um, it's really cool to see Ethereum um, just like bleeding out into the real world with NFTs. Be careful with NFTs. I think it's going to create a lot of opportunity for artists, which I love, um, but that is like super frothy. So in March of last year, when the world was going crazy, it had no idea what to expect. The stock market was crashing terribly. Remember stock market essentially prices the future of these companies. What are they going to be doing in the next six months? So the fact that there was so much uncertainty, boom, market got hit, right? And the world is going crazy. And something that I hope you get out of this. I'm not trying to be a Bitcoin shill or a crypto shill. You have to make your own decisions. But if you believe in something, whether it's a company or it's your own business, it's your own person, or it's an asset like this, and you really believe in it and you've done your research, well, the time to buy, the time to put all your chips in the game, I wish I put more chips in the game, but I was scared, is when no one's paying attention, is when everything was crashing and it was March 13th, 2020, all of the Bitcoin bros that I follow now, they weren't tweeting about Bitcoin. Everyone was scared and people didn't want to talk about it because honestly, Bitcoin was doing something that no one expected. You would think in those times, oh, okay, Bitcoin's gonna go up during that, right? Because it is a better solution to the dollar. Well, no, everyone was liquidating. Bitcoin was crashing, the stock market was, people had no idea what was coming and just like everything was going down. 
which was interesting, right? Uh, that's not what it's supposed to do. But I just said, okay, don't invest what you can't lose. I put, let's see, I put 2,000 bucks in Bitcoin, but 0.4 Bitcoin for uh, $4,800. You just have to have that conviction of like, hey, I believe in this. No one's talking about it. I'm a little scared. There's a chance it might go to zero. But I said to myself, well, the bigger risk is not being involved with this. And well, the rest is history. USD money printer is just going crazy. Bitcoin is going up. And as I'm filming this, it is getting close to its all time high of $57,000, $58,000. So you might be, oh my gosh, Sarah, do you regret it? It's almost $20,000 more than what you sold it for. No, I actually don't because you can brag about your investments all day on Twitter, but it's not real until you make the trade, right? And I needed something in the physical world that I'm going to enjoy every day. It's gonna be a great utility to my business, but it's something, uh, again, it's just a fun piece of tech that I'm really excited about and I get to experience that. And if there wasn't a lot of this reason uh, that I needed some more cash, whether it was for buying a condo, buying a car, we're doing a lot of life changes right now, um, you know, I probably would have just held forever, right? But let's get into this average price. So let's let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new sheet and make this all Bitcoin. So there's a little bit of Ethereum and Litecoin in here. It is kind of painful to see these transactions, like three Ethereum for three hundred and forty dollars. Man, sometimes uh, you know I just wish I held on to this Ethereum. Okay. Let's calculate. All right, so starting in 2017, going all the way down to 2020. <laughs> Pretty cool that the total number that I sold everything for came out to be $59,000 because that is literally the exact price of the Model Y. Of course, that accounts for the investment that I had in there. You know, as you see, the, the profit was $48,000, but with $59,000, I was able to get the long range, the color, the wheels that I was into, that white interior, which will be great for taxes because we don't want black, it gets super hot. That total came out to be $54,000, and then Tesla doesn't include the taxes, so that's something that you have to worry about in addition. So I'm gonna get something in the mail that says, hey, you yeah, owe us like $5,000 in taxes. So it quite literally came out to exactly $59,000, um, which is kind of fun. It kind of makes everything come full circle for this video. Oh, I should have titled this video, How I Bought a Tesla for Zero Dollars. That would have been so Graham Stephan of me. Hmm. Okay, time for Tesla talk. Are you still holding? Absolutely, till it hits 300,000. Okay, well your price target keeps moving. Well, because it keeps going up. Are you listening to a Bitcoin person right now? Yes. He wrote this uh, oscillator. What, is, what does that mean? It tells you when to buy and when to sell. I mean, look at this place, guys. You're obsessed. Diamond hands. Diamond hands. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about why Tesla. Oh my gosh, I did so much car research. I watched so many Doug DeMero videos and also Straight Pipes. There's a lot of good car YouTube channels out there. Really, I didn't know anything about cars until now. The only thing in my head was, okay, one day, if I can make enough money, I'm gonna get a Land Rover. Um, beneath all that, the only thing I knew is, okay, my first car was a Honda Element and I was obsessed. I loved the boxiness of it. Hondas are just great and reliable. And in my head, I was just like, okay, well, the step up of that is a Land Rover. I love the boxiness and they just look so cool, right? And then you start researching it and then you start looking at the prices compared to reliability and how much they're gonna be in the shop. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. So again, I keep watching YouTube videos and I was looking at a lot of uh, cars that I just thought, you know, didn't just look cool, but were also powerful, cool. So I was looking at the Porsche Cayenne, uh, the Macan, 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 I think it's called Macan. You car people are gonna hate me for butchering these names. Cause honestly, there was a part inside of me that was like, Sarah, all YouTubers get Teslas. You need to be different. You need to be cool. But ultimately, I caved. I started watching a lot of videos, you know, about Teslas and you just, it's its weird. When you're looking at these other cars, it, it feels like 
they're a part of the past. And with Tesla, you're buying the future, right? I mean, so much of it is cool, not just the autopilot, um, but the fact that, you know, you're investing in hopefully a more sustainable future. But hey, Elon Musk is spending a lot of time here in Texas, so who knows, um, you know, the future of energy here. Hopefully it is better than what we experienced um, last month. And yeah, once I sold my Bitcoin, I kind of had that number in my head, 59,000. When I was specking out these other cars, I mean, one, I was like, okay, it's really dumb to buy these new. And then I was looking at old, um, not old, but like 2017, 2018 Porsche Cayenne. And even the, the the specs that you want, you know, heated seats, uh, the nice features, a lot of them are above that 50, $60,000 price tag, which I don't know, no matter how much money I can make in this life, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, uh, I don't know, I don't wanna say too much on this because maybe I become a total car head and I need to own expensive cars, but it just, the money price gets to a point where it's not, like cars aren't really an investment, right? They usually, almost all the time, just go down in value. And it looks like Teslas actually hold their value pretty pretty good. We have the future of, you know, the fleet happening. Tesla flips the switch with full self-driving and Tesla essentially becomes Uber and Lyft without the drivers. That's super interesting. He said it's coming out for forever now, um, but it's probably, it's probably a little bit longer in the future than he says. Well, cause we've had proof of that. <laughs> when it came to actually buying the Tesla, I did consider um, a few options. I never really wanted to finance just because again, assets that depreciate, it's like, I don't wanna, I don't know. I don't want more monthly payments as well. Like who needs that in their life? When I looked at the pricing for leasing, I hate how Tesla does this, but also experiencing what I experienced at a normal dealership with John getting his car, everyone is kind of slimy with pricings. You, you know, it says there on Tesla, okay, the down payment's only $4,000 and then your monthly payment's going to be 500. Well, you put in your credit card info, you do the down payment and then you adjust the scale. And if you wanna get that 500 a month monthly payment, well, your down payment actually has to be like eight or $9,000, you do the calculation. And having a Tesla leased for three years turns out to be $30,000 for a $50,000 Model Y, which in my brain does not make any sense at all. And since, you know, I made the trade and I had the cash, I just bought it outright in cash. But yeah, that was my choice. And I'm definitely not a huge fan of the way Tesla um, does the leasing thing on their website. Just make sure you just read everything. So before we get into the Tesla, I just wanna thank Storyblock so much for sponsoring this video. Any of the special B-roll or kind of the visual effects, that's, that's Storyblocks. And if you're a video creator, their unlimited all access plan is so clutch. Just give me, just give me a quick minute here. Finding that perfect B-roll for your videos takes time and money. Storyblocks helps you bring your story to life with over 1 million royalty-free stock assets. The unlimited all access plan gives you unlimited downloads of everything in their library. It's not just the awesome 4K and HD stock footage, but amazing plugins and assets for Premiere and After Effects. So templates, music, images, sound effects, and so much more. Storyblocks has affordable subscriptions if you are a creator like me, but they also have enterprise licensing for larger teams. This is such an awesome tool to help you make more video. That's the goal at the end of the day, right? So if you're interested, check out my link in the description below to learn more. Okay, time to get the Tesla. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. OMW. So we're picking it up at like one of their, I guess, showrooms in the middle of like a shopping square. Thing, this is awesome. Which is interesting. Yeah, this, this, this is cool. This reminds me of like a California shopping square. Awesome. Woo. Wow. Oh. configuration. I love it. Very nice. Okay, so we did the checks, and so I think it's time to accept the delivery. Oh. Uh -huh. Dun dun dun. Get it. Huh? Okay, okay, it did it. Perfect. Oh, welcome video. What's up? Owner's manual up next in three seconds. Okay, I feel like- I'm scared, you gotta pay attention, babe. Yeah, maybe we should pay attention. You. Congratulations. You now drive one of the safest, most advanced, and most fun cars on the planet. Your phone is your Tesla's key. We call it phone key. What happened? So I just locked the car on lock. Oh. 
Oh. What I just noticed that's exciting is I have the new center console, the Model Y center console, where basically there's no more piano black. So you have, this is where you can put your phones to wireless charge. As you can see, there's no lifting up of the bottom anymore. It's just right here. It's kind of like a nice suede feel. And here you have the more matte look with the automatic, or I think you do it like that. And that's pretty deep. I mean, that's, the seats are comfy. That's the first thing that I noticed too. They kind of hug you, you know? And we had to do it to him. We had to do the white interior, you know? We had to. The black rims, the gray outside, and the white inside. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's get that front. Let's get it right. So, this is the ultimate peel. Here we go. That was extremely satisfying, holy mother. You know, it took a while for us to get to this point, a lot of researching and stuff. Now that it's here, I'm nervous. All right, we're going, all right, all right. we're going, we're going. Golf cart. Oh my God, freak out, everyone freak out. Wee! Everyone freak out, Wee! everyone freak out. It says do not enter. Okay, all what right. do we do? All right, what do, do we, we do? Do we enter? What do we do? Hey, calm your face. <laughs> Where do I go? Why is no one giving you There's room? so many cars. <laughs> Why are they getting so close to you? I don't know. Okay, so the biggest learning curve for me when I mm. test drove the Model Y was when you let off of the gas, it actually comes to a complete stop. So it's not like a gas car where you like roll into a stop and then you break. And here, here's another Tesla, another gray Tesla. We're just gonna give him daps here. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, he knows what's up. Like you didn't have to hit the brakes just now to stop at that stop Correct. sign. Correct. Right. And so if I let off a little bit, it just, it stops. But you can change that in the settings to where it's more of a traditional feel. <clears> but <throat> this is fun because it's one pedal gassing, electrifying. Can you figure out how to change? Does that do that? Perfect. That makes more sense. Maybe you right. did it. One Ooh. button. All right. I hope it's in. I wonder what mode it's in. I didn't check that. Oh, Whoa! we're still. We're still. <laughs> Babe, you gotta warn me. I'm hitting my head. <laughs> Lovely acceleration test. I cannot wait to surprise my parents with that. I don't think they know what to expect with the acceleration. Anyways, onward and upwards, babe. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful! Da, da, da. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. Look, look, she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay, parents, are you proud of me? We didn't like you at all until you got this car. <laughs> so you don't have any, yeah, like, dials. You have this, and you have another. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> wow! So look how much yeah. space this is. Okay, John, how tall are you? I'm six foot. Oh. All right, ready? Are we going to Mars? <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> what is up with that acceleration? Yeah, that's good. Why does it feel like a spaceship? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why does it actually that's feel like crazy. a spaceship? How is it riding in the back seat? It's, it's nice. With the, yeah. Oh, this? I didn't even look up once. I've been looking sh straight ahead to my future. Gosh, I can't wait. A year from now, when we all have converted our money to Bitcoin, we only <laughs> we're wear, all driving Teslas. We only wear Adidas tracksuits, and we're all driving <laughs> Teslas. Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. The two Johns. Hi. Hello. Holy smokes, it is such a sunny day and it was so cold and cloudy this morning. Uh, you know what they say in Texas, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. Anyway, so my general vibes after driving um, a 2021 Tesla Y long range is, I love it. It is so much fun. Um, I'll give you kind of some bullet points and then if you want a full review, let me know. I'm not really a car reviewer, but this is a very personal piece of tech that is gonna be with me every single day. So I didn't get the full self-driving package. Why not? Well, well, you know, the, what you get for right now is still a promise from Elon Musk. Um, it's really cool to see more of the betas rolling out, so that does give me hope. Um, but I'm just going to wait until it's actually public and I can sign up for it, whether it's a monthly fee or I'm sure that $10,000 will jump to an even higher price. Um, but I'm just going to wait for that. You still have autopilot, which is amazing. I mean, I use it all the time on the highways here. It's so good doing basically the adaptive cruise control, but also keeping you in one lane so you don't have to worry about steering. As someone who really has only driven bulky cars my entire life, I really didn't understand the value of like zero to 60 in acceleration, uh, but it is so fun. Like 
it's so torquey, the acceleration is so fast, and you know, when you get a chance to drive performance mode Teslas and you step on the gas full throttle, or what do you what do you call it? The pedal, because it's not the gas. <laughs> it like gives you like a pit in your stomach, like you're in a freaking rocket ship going to the moon. It's it's so fun. So uh, mine isn't you know obviously the fastest Tesla, but you still have crazy acceleration, and it's just so much fun. The coolest thing I found is Sentry Mode. Oh my gosh! So basically, when you come to your car, you have all of these video clips of people either getting too close to your car, are they being sketchy? What's happening? Even my brother was confused because he thought he heard my car. Oh, why is your car on, Sarah? Oh well, it was because Sentry Mode thought you were up to something. I think that is just one of the coolest features ever. Um, and if I talk any much longer, well, this video is going to become 30 minutes. So maybe I can pick up this Tesla talk maybe in another video if you want it. Okay. So I guess this wouldn't be a Tesla video without plugging my affiliate link, or if you click that Tesla link in the description below, you get a thousand free supercharging hours when you buy your Tesla and I get a free 1000 supercharging hours as well. That's pretty crazy. Like, like a Tesla purchase is such a big ask, but hey, if you're buying one anyways, I guess you can do it through my link. Oh, uh, well, yeah, this was a super fun video, something that I've had in mind for like, honestly, over six months, ever since that the thought ever entered my brain that, oh my gosh, maybe one day I'll actually sell my Bitcoin. Um, it, it was always like, okay, what could be a meaningful purchase that could come from that? Because if I don't need anything, you know, I'll just hold forever. And something that I guess I haven't mentioned yet is I'm already back into Bitcoin. And it's honestly a little depressing to have have more money in there now, but having less Bitcoin just because it has gone up. Um, you know, as I'm filming this video, I think it's at like 56K. I sold at 38K. But really, that difference for me isn't crazy when, you know, I started investing in it when it was at four or five thousand. So, and I feel good that I got something out of it, I guess. All of the stress, all of the times where it's like, Sarah, when the world hates it, when the world is not talking about it, that's the time to buy. Do it, do it. Four years of just stressing out over that. Uh, I guess selfishly, I feel good that uh, I got something from my investment and now it really seems just like stable money. It just seems like a good investment. Really, as companies start adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet and really legitimizing um, not just this currency, but this technology, well, it seems like an easy investment going forward. I'm just hoping that there's not thousands of crypto spammers in the comments in this video. Be careful out there, guys. I do think Bitcoin is a huge part of the future and, you know, the technologies and Ethereum and some other stuff, but there's a lot of BS out there. And I know that's gonna anger some people, but just be careful out there. Check out my Storyblocks link in the description below. Thank you so much, Storyblocks, for sponsoring this video. And yeah, this is fun. All right, like the video, subscribe, See you in the next one. Stay peachy. Okay, bye. As I carry this drink, yes. I'm almost like nervous to bring it in the car. Do we deserve things that are this nice? I don't think so, chug it. I'm like so nervous. It's weird because like, think about it. First and only car other than this was a Honda Element, which you literally could take a hose to on the inside and rinse out the mess of the car. That was my favorite part. You could actually do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could lift up the seats and the ground was like a uh, like a plastic. Oh, that's kind of amazing though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's try it with your Tesla. Okay, all right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. That's the bay. Look, it's bay. It's just waiting. I thought bay was... Oh, you are bay. Oh. Hey, but this bay. is also bay. That is bay.